And now we're getting some much needed rain across the Bay Area. First alert meteorologist Aaron Peck joins us for how much this much needed rain will stick around for. Uh, probably till about noon, Devin, and then most of the second half of today, no rain. The best of the rain? pretty much right now. Started around midnight, so first let me show you how much we've already gotten while you were sleeping, and then we'll come back to First Alert Doppler, which is working pretty, uh, pretty nicely this morning. It's got a lot on it. Okay, we've already picked up just this morning. Seven tenths of an inch of rain in Santa Rosa, two tenths of an inch of rain in the city officially at downtown. Palo Alto, down in the South Bay has already gotten three tenths of an inch rain. It's nice to see that the showers are getting everybody equally. We've gotten just about as much rain down in the Santa Clara Valley with this one as we have pretty much anywhere else. And if we go back to First Alert Doppler, you can see how that would play out. Widespread rain. This was like a, a nice direct hit right on the whole Bay Area. So let's see what happens next. We'll take the showers from where they are now. That organized yellow kind of line right there shows up in the future cast. You can still kind of pick it out. That's where the best of the rain is. If we take it, play it forward, you really see how things quiet down over the next few hours. By the time we've gotten to 9 a.m., there are a few stragglers left over down along the peninsula and in the East Bay and in the South Bay. And then by the time we get to noon, done. And you'll even clear out and get more blue sky today than anything else. So it's really right now. Thankfully, we're not looking at like a Saturday morning commute. So um, just give yourself a little extra time on the road. If you got to be out there this morning, the roads are going to be slick. We pick up about another tenth of an inch of rain on top of what we've already gotten. It is warm out there. Clouds doing us a favor, it's like that nice wet gray blanket. And we've stayed in the mid to upper 50s out there. So grab the umbrella. You may not need the heavy jacket. It's the exact opposite of yesterday. And for daytime highs today, we climb back up into the mid 60s. That's almost an exact repeat of yesterday. Today is going to look prettier than yesterday because we'll get much bluer sky. But the temperatures will feel the same. We'll be in about the mid 60s. And the snow is going to keep falling in the Sierra. We'll still get about another half a foot up there. Not an easy day to travel, but once we get past like sunset, you should be a little better. If you want to wait to get into the mountains, if you've got to travel, I'd wait till tomorrow. But if you've got to go later tonight, by then Caltrans will likely have gotten the passes fairly workable, but you, you'll pro likely still need chains throughout today. Okay, here comes the next system. We get rid of today's, watch the next one come in right there. That one gets here for rain on Tuesday. So we'll get some light showers out of that one, but it's only the first one. And the Tuesday rain does not look all that impressive. We can see that system out here. That one comes in a little too far north. The one back here for Thursday, that one at this point looks more promising, but we're not going to fall for we're not going to fall for it necessarily entirely just yet. Let me bring that one forward and show you what it looks like. Much better aim. Thursday could be interesting for better widespread rainfall totals. Tuesday, at least we get something. We'll see if this holds together. It's less than a tenth of an inch of rain, and that's mainly Monday overnight into Tuesday. Now I'm gonna add in the Thursday system, and the totals start to go up from there. So now we're looking at more like a half an inch of rain. And same story in the Sierra. Just looking at Tuesday, we put another half a foot down on Tuesday, but then on Wednesday and Thursday, we could get three feet. At this point, that's where things stand in the forecast model. Let's give Thursday some time to play out nonetheless. I got rain on it there in the seven day. Here's today's rain. For Sunday, perfect. We clear the system out. You get sunshine. We even warm up. Monday, the rain arrives late in the Bay Area. So I didn't put rain on Monday. It'll be Monday night rain. But it is Tuesday morning rain before we get into the Thursday showers. And you can see that same story there playing out on our microclimates. Look at tomorrow. We're back up near 70 for daytime highs by the time we get there. Devin. So I wasn't surprised by the rain on the drive-in, but I was surprised by its intensity. But let me ask you this question specifically. Getting all of the snow late in the season, that's got to be good news for the drought picture, right? It, it is. It's better than nothing, but an important thing about that is the landscape in the Sierra is so dry, we're still going to lose a portion of that runoff just because it's going to get so soaked into the landscape. That's good for fire season. It is good because it pushes fire season back several weeks. But by the time we get to July, August, and more importantly, September and October, I don't think the snow we're getting right now is really going to have made any difference because it's too little too late. Okay. Unfortunately. Right. Thank yeah. you. Sure.